Hey, and welcome to our Get Slim workout. So I'm just gonna take you through what we're gonna be doing. So first of all, what you'll need is you'll need a set of dumbbells for today's workout. So we're gonna start off with the first exercise, which is down the floor, we'll do press ups. So we're gonna put a variation into this one. So you can either do press ups on your feet or press ups on your knees. But each press up we do, we're gonna to touch a to shoulder. So we're gonna drop down, chest touches the floor, come up, and then you touch the shoulder. That's one rep. Back down, and again, touch the shoulder. That's two reps. So if you can't do full press ups, what you can do is on your knees, make sure you drop your hips down, and then back up, touch the shoulder on each repetition. After that, we're gonna come up, and remember, you can use the weights for the lunges. You don't have to if you don't want to, if you find it too hard. So all we're gonna do is lunge to high knee. So we're gonna do 10 reps on each side. So you get in that lunge position, you lunge up, lift the knee up. That's one rep. Lunge up, lift the knee up. Two reps. And then once you've done 10 on your right leg, change over to 10 on your left leg. We're gonna drop down to the floor. We're gonna do mountain climbers. So make sure mountain climbers, you do a big range of movement. So you wanna aim for your knee, near enough touching your elbow. So we're going for 30 repetitions. So you're gonna jump between each rep. Okay, so make sure you do nice big strides. Then we're going for a squat to shoulder press. So you need a dumbbell for this exercise. Just grab all your dumbbell, palm facing forwards. What you're then going to do, drop down and then push up and press for the arms. Okay, so you're going to drop down and then push up and press for the arms. You get 20 reps of those. Once you're finished with the squat to shoulder presses, what you're then going to do is cycle crunches. So we're going to have 20 reps of cycle crunches, and that's 10 on either leg. So hands by the ears. Remember, we don't want to interlock the hands behind the head. If we're interlocking the hands behind the head, you put a little strain in your neck. So it's hands by the ears, and you do a cycle motion. But make sure you slow it down and control it, because you really want to make sure you feel it in your arm area. So if we just recap over the workout, what we're going for, first of all, is the press up to shoulder touches. So you should be going for 10 shoulder touches on each side. That could be done on the knees or the feet. What we're then going for is 10 lunged high knees on each leg. After then, we're into mountain climbers and we're doing 30 mountain climbers. Make sure we're going for big strides. Grab the dumbbells and we're going to do squat to shoulder press for 20 reps. And then we're going to do cycle crunches for 20 reps. And we're doing three rounds of that. If you need a break in between, take one, rest for as long as you want. You might even need a break between each exercise, just so you feel. I'm gonna try and go through the whole thing, make sure I go to good sweat, make sure I work really hard. But same again, form's crucial. Make sure you really, really push yourself. If you find it too hard, lift less weight. If it's too easy, lift more weight. Right, so now you're warmed up, let's give it a go. We'll drop down straight to the floor and we're gonna do the press up to the shoulder touches. So, take your feet nice and wide apart, let's press up, one. Touch shoulder, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, you find it too hard, you can go straight down to your knees at any time. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Try and make sure your hips don't move too much. Thirteen, fourteen. If they are, take your legs wider apart. Fifteen, sixteen. 18, 19, and 20. Good stuff. So now what we're gonna do is a lunge with a knee raise. Remember, you can use the weight if you want to, make it a little bit harder. So we'll start with the right leg. We're gonna lunge back and drive the knee up. One, two, three, four. Try and get that knee up nice and high. Five, six, Seven, and you start to feel it in the front of the thigh and the bum. Eight, nine, and ten. I'll take legs, left leg down, lunge down, drive up. Make sure you get nice and down the lunge, and all the weight should be going for the front leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Drop down on the floor, we'll do mountain climbers. So remember, hands shoulder apart and we'll try and do 30 reps but really get those legs spaced out. 
Big strides, okay? One. Good work. Grab dumbbells, squat the shoulder press. So, a few reps off the part. Palms facing forwards. We'll go over 20 reps. So, you can do a full squat if you want, but if you're finding your legs a bit tired, you don't have to do a full squat. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, good, 17, 18, 19, 20, perfect, drop that bell down. We're now doing 20 cycle crunches. So, let's crunch up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good stuff. That's round one finished. Let's move on to round two. So, give yourself a little bit of a breather. Shake your arms out a bit, shake your legs out. Remember, if you found round one hard, like obviously I did, from a heart rate beating, then what you need to do, give yourself a bit more rest, because what you want to try and do is with around the whole way through. You don't really want to break in between, if you can help it. If it was too easy, remember, you want to lift more weight, all right? So, we'll drop down to the floor. We're gonna do the 20 press-ups with shoulder touches. So, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and 20. Good. Jump up. Let's do the lunge with the lead raise. So remember 10 on each leg. Start with the right leg. Lunge down. Lift the knee up. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change legs. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's drop down to balance climb time. So remember, big strides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 30. Good stuff. Grab the dumbbells, squat the shoulder press. Let's keep working, keep tempo up. Run weight in the heels, nice deep squat. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten, good. Halfway. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Perfect. Drop down, we'll do 20 cycle crunches. So we're legs up straight, nice, slow, and controlled. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And that's 20 reps done. That's round two done. So, give yourself another bit of a breather. If you don't need one, go straight through it. However, if you feel like you're struggling a bit, give yourself a slightly longer rest. Those two rounds were proper tough. So we're doing round three, okay? Let's make sure we try and push through it. Good form the whole time. Keep stomach clean towards the lower back and really push through it. Back down the floor. It's press up, shoulder touches. Remember, you're good under your knees at any time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 18, 19, last one, and 20. Good. Let's stand up, lunge to the raise. So, right leg first, 10 reps. Lunge down, lift up. Two. Make sure you push the weight from the heel of the foot and really squeeze for the front of the thigh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Change legs, left leg. One, two, three. If the balance isn't great, take your legs slightly wide apart. Four, five, six. Really squeeze your bum. Seven at the top. Eight, nine, and 10. Good stuff. Mountain climbers, 30 reps. So, hands short apart, jump between them. Five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine, thirty. Good stuff. Grab dumbbells, let's squat the shoulder cross time. So, if it's too easy, pick a hand there, set dumbbells. Pass facing forwards. Let's squat down, press up for the arms. One, two, three. Ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, this should be getting harder now. 19, last one, 20, good. Right, cycle crunch to finish off with. Twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And uh, that's round three done everyone. Good work. <laughs>